Hello everybody, JDog13306 here, and uh, just doing a quick tutorial on how to open all the doors in the minigame battle mode. It's that, uh, we're gonna do an invite only. There is actually two versions to this. I'm just gonna do normal. It's that, uh, you can have a two player, two players, you can have another person help you. And right here I have Desirka. It's that, uh, yeah, she, it's that is gonna be my helper, I guess. And um, yeah, here I'm gonna show you really quick. Um, really quick, wanna quit really fast, just to just to show them how to get most of these heads. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to get most of these heads here. There's gonna be at least around I think four, maybe. I'm pretty sure there's four. But anyways, yeah, here's the first one. This is the skeleton one. You go under here, just click this, and it pops out. Here's one of them. Um, uh, to get the other one, you're gonna have to use this little, uh, over here. There's this, um, little puzzle here you're supposed to do. Um, shows between these three things. And in order to find the puzzle for these three is by, well, the first one I found was over here. You go over here, jump across this fence, go up this ladder, and once you get to the top of this ladder, you go over here. And you just look in this window and that's the first key that is one of the first keys and after that you jump down here you go into the room this one tower area where the fireworks are oh a little other little secret hidden trick how to keep these things open um, anyways you just jump across here go up here all the way up to the top but don't go right up the ladder up here do not go up the ladder what you want to do before you hit the ladder is you want to turn around and there's the other key. It's just right here at the top. You should be able to miss it. So the first one is going to be down corner right. The second one is left. And the last one is, the last one is up here. Um, you're going to need to do this, this little, little bit of parkour here on how to get to the other side. Oh crap, as you can see I failed there. I'm not too good at parkour on Minecraft. As you can see my assistant is laughing at me and I failed again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she's laughing at me. Trying to hold in her laugh. It's all right, let it out. I'm horrible at parkour. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna have to edit a little bit of that. Okay, here we go. Yes, I made it. Okay. Anyways, what I was saying, there's another key and it's over here. It's just across this thing over here, this little gap. I wasn't able to make over, by the way. The other key is just in here and it's down on the iron sword. So the left on the side of the left with the gold sword, down corner right with the diamond, and down iron. So if you just do that, down corner right, then you go left with that gold then you go straight down you'll hear a click you hear that click okay then you if you go down here you'll see that this door is opened and if you go in and look in this chest you will find the zombie head that's just the second head and I'm gonna show you how to get the Steve head now what you want to do is you want to go over here grab a bow uh, believe me, you're gonna need the bow afterwards. You're gonna need it because if you want, if you're gonna do this on a solo, if you're gonna do this solo, then you're gonna need the bow. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna see a little tiny little button up here, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna aim your bow and just shoot it. I'm gonna get the button just perfectly, and I'm feeling super bad at this. Right there. Nope. Nope. That's not it. I probably even got it. No, I didn't get it. Okay, it's just up there. I'm missing it so much, but it's up there. It's this little brown button. It's hard to get. So I aim it just right. No. Nope. <laughs> I keep missing. There you go. You see, I got the button, and here comes out the little Steve head. And after you get the Steve head, okay, this is where I'm going to need my assistant to join me. Because... If you want to do this with two players, it's possible. With one player, it is too. I'll show you the one-player version too. Um, 
Anyways, this is how you do it. This is how you open up that door over there. This door towards the creeper head. You're gonna need one assistant. I need you to go up here, follow me. Oh yeah, I'll be doing the withered head too, but I'll, I'll do that last. I just wanna show you this really fast. Um, okay, I need you to jump across. Yes, there you go, see I made it that time. Okay, I need you to jump into that painting and just stand there. Okay, you see how she's standing on that pressure plate that's in there? There's a pressure plate on the ground as you can see on the bottom screen. That's at, uh, I'm gonna jump down here onto my screen and if you go all the way over here in the corner, you'll see that this little door opened and there's a little switch inside. Oh, okay, seven minutes till the game starts. So you wanna just exit really fast? Okay, there you go. Okay, she left and she's back. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to get the Wither Skull. Um, you shoot up here at this arrow and pop goes a little with his skull and we have just wait almost all five of the heads we have just go up here grab the button okay so we got the skeleton skull the zombie head the head the steve head original the wither skeleton skull and the griever head and that is how you get all five heads on here. I can show you the quick single player version of how to get the creeper skull. I'll show you really quick. My assistant, I need you to quit, please. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so how to do this, how to get the one skull, the one uh, creeper skull by yourself is pretty easy. I'm gonna have to quit really fast. And then re-enter game. Go into competitive. Okay, gonna need you to quit. Okay, how to get the one skull by yourself is you're gonna need a bow. For starters, you're gonna need a bow. Really quick, you're gonna have to go over here. Oh. God, I grab arrows. Okay. Well, either way, it's gonna work either way. Open these two doors. The door I already showed you how to open up that thing earlier, so there's no need to get anything else. It's at uh it's pretty simple. They're pressure plates, so you're gonna be able to put stuff on them to keep them to keep them connected. So what you wanna do is when you jump in here, it's a pressure plate, right? And you can't go back out there because the pressure plate goes away. So you're gonna need to throw your arrows onto into the painting, and you see that click? Once you go back over here, you will see that this thing is still open because something is already on the pressure plate and it's putting pressure down onto the plate. So it lets it open and voila, the door is open. And now you can get the creep head and just, you know, show it off. Oh jeez, where'd it go? Oh, there you go. Alright, well, that's the end of my tutorial. Um, I want to get my little assistant in here for a little f for what's that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, she wants to get a wither skull. Okay. Come take a photo with me in front of this. It's at in front of this marvelous. It's at fountain. <laughs> Okay. All right. See you guys in the next video. Hope this helped. Um, bye.